and welcome back to lesson 17 of basic CNC programming in this video we're going to be talking about the block skip command which is used to skip lines and ignore the code on that line and also the go to command which is used to skip larger sections of the program and a lot of times these two commands are used hand in hand so let's take a look at the program and see how that's done alright so on the left side here we're looking at a program that is using five tools to machine a part and let's say for instance on this batch of parts we don't need to use tool number one which faces the top of the part because let's say that the material is already milled to thickness so instead of completely deleting this and not have it for the next time we run this program we can do what we did on the right side over here and put a block skip in front of each line that we want to ignore so when we turn the block skip function on on the machine it will ignore every line that has a block skip in front of it and continue machining right here on the next tool so let's take a look at a few controls and see where this block skip or block delete button is located alright so here we're looking at a Mazak mill and you can see on the screen right here it has the block skip function and when you click on this blue button it'll make that active and so then any line with a block skip sign in front of it will be ignored so let's take a look at another one alright so here is one on a Morisiki mill and you can see this little button here that says BDT that stands for block delete it's got that forward slash on it you can see it's it's lit up so therefore it's active so when it's active any block delete sign that it sees it will ignore those lines let's take a look at one more and in our third example you can see there's a block delete button on a Haas control and when you click on it it will show on the screen itself that the block delete function is now active so these are just some examples of where these buttons are located on the control alright so that was an example of how we use the block skip function now we're looking back at our program here and let's say that we still want to ignore the first tool or skip the first tool but not use the block skip function this time where we have to put block skips in front of all of these lines but we're going to use the go to command and so we're just going to type the command go to and that's spelled G O T O and make sure that those are not zeros because that will give you problems the next thing that go to needs is the sequence number that you want to skip to in the program so we're going to skip to N200 and so everything in between the go to statement and N200 will be skipped so we're going to just put the number next to go to and make sure you don't put the N in there because that will not work so just by typing go to 200 we'll skip this tool and continue on with tool number two and the rest of the program now if you put the block skip command in front of this then you can simply turn this go to command on and off with your block skip or block delete button on your control so obviously when the block delete button is active it will ignore this line and run the whole program if you turn the block delete off on the control then it will read this go to 200 and will actually skip the first tool so that's how the block skip function and the go to command would be used together so as you can imagine the block skip and go to command can be used in very many different ways and these were just a couple of simple examples of how these two commands are used so that's it for this video if you like what you see please give me a thumbs up drop me a comment and if you haven't subscribed please do so now and we'll see you in the next video.